Hey guys, so before we even start, I just wanted to let you know that I did have my brows microbladed. So if you don't know what that means, let me know in the comments if you want me to talk about that. Um, as you can see, it didn't really heal very well. I think I need a few more touch-ups because there are a little bit of like some gaps and sparse areas, especially on my tail end, which is understandable because I literally don't have any hair there. Um, but anyway, if you want me to talk about that, let me know in the comments. So I'm just starting off at the tail end. The one thing I love, one of the things rather, uh, one of the things I love about having microbladed my brows is that I have a great um, baseline that I go off of. So I start at my tail because I want that to be really defined and mind you, I always use a super fine um, angled liner brush so it helps with that definition I want to achieve and it's great when I want to create like hair like strokes. So as you can see I'm just out outlining my brows and to those of you who have noticed that it's been looking pretty thick that is because um, I had my brows filled out more because I wanted to have thicker brows so when I do them they look thicker than they are if I had no makeup on. Did that make sense? So as you can see, I'm just filling in the sparse areas and making sure that there are no areas that are lighter than my actual, like, you know, brows. And as you can see, I'm doing upward strokes with my angle brush to create uh, hair-like strokes. And when they did the microblading, it's basically creating hair-like strokes on your brows or underneath the brows so it makes it look like you have thicker brows than you really do and at this point I realized you don't you can't really see what I'm doing on my left eyebrow so I went ahead and skipped that and I'm just like retouching and just filling in sparse areas and um, the hardest part for me is working on my inner brows because I want it to look a lot more natural and as much as I want to have less makeup on there, I really can't because my hair growth doesn't grow as well as like other people. There are some people that have gorgeous like hair in their inner brows that they don't even have to put makeup on there. I literally have to like draw in hair like strokes to give to achieve that look. So yeah, and this is the final look and then the next part will um, really amp up the brows and give it a little bit of a natural impression to it. Right now it looks pretty drawn on. So I use a brow mascara to coat the hairs of my brows and make it stand out so it doesn't look like it's too drawn in. And that is my number one uh, recommendation to all of you who feel like your brows just don't look like most of your brow idols or whatever, if that's even a thing. Um, brow mascara really lifts up your hair and gives it a more realistic, fuller look. And I highly recommend the NYX brow mascara. It's super cheap and it works. And I use the e.l.f. one just because for the ends of my brows just because it's a lot darker than the NYX one and both of these brow mascaras are amazing and very affordable and I highly recommend them so as you can see I'm only applying it to the um, end part of my brows so it kind of just flawlessly mixes with the tail end and this is the finished product um, it looks great with my full makeup on I'm going to show you pictures um, with my brows done and like with the different looks I do with them. In this photo I haven't had my brows microbladed yet. So this is purely just the Anastasia brow pomade and the brow mascara. Now in this photo I had just had it done and it's in the process of healing. And this is legit the day that I had it done. So in this clip, I forgot to put on some mascara. Um, actually, I forgot my curler downstairs, so I just skipped that. But this is how it looks like. That's my updated brow routine. If you guys have any questions about um, any of the steps I did, or if you want me to do a microblading video, let me know in the comments below. 
and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.